Okay, welcome back to my channel. So I had flighty crayons. <laughs> I love your name. It's so cool. Anyway, um, asking me um, if you could do it on a stamper and then put it on the nail. Um, so I'm testing it out. Um, so I do have one coat of wisteria on there. I'm using all the same colors as my previous videos, but we're just going to do it on the stamper instead. So hopefully this will work. Um, just because I guess if you're trying to do it on your um, dominant hand or non-dominant hand, um, it would make things easier or if you're not as steady. So I'm just using my nail stuff uh, stamper. You can use whatever stamper. I just use using this one because it's an older stamper. Uh, not that I'm, this will wreck it or anything. It just, you know, it's the one I grabbed. So I'm just going through and adding all the colors. This is such a versatile design. I love this one because it looks so pretty and elegant and it just so versatile because you can do so many color combinations. Um, so it, it's, uh, oops, it makes it, uh, so easy. Okay. So there's my design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, my sticky base coat. You can also use uh, yellow stopper. So it's basically the same as doing like um, uh, reverse stamping, I would say. You know, or use um, like a base um, or like a top or clear coat, not a top coat, like not a fast dry top coat. I'm just going to do the whole nail just because some of my stripes are a little longer and I don't know how long, so I'm just going to do the whole thing. We're going to let that sit for a minute. I usually wait like 30 seconds to a minute, no longer than a minute because you don't want it to dry um, totally on yourself because then, then it's a pain in the butt and things won't stick. So, have I talked enough? I blow. Do, 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 do. So, what I'm going to do is try and line it up. I'm going to line it up a little higher so um, it will... Oh, damn it. I don't think it was dry enough. But, it did work did it here. Damn it. I wish. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I guess I was not patient enough to let it dry. But it did work. So, yeah. I'm going to try it again. Hang on one sec. Okay. Test two. <laughs> so, I did this. I put the sticky base coat on. It should be tacky. Um, I redid this. It should be dry now. So let's try it again. And I think my problem was I pushed too hard and things weren't dry. Oh, look at that. So push down the little flyaways. 
and then you can clean off the edges so if that goes onto your nail just clean up your nail like normal and it worked so it can be done on a stamper so now I just get my top coat So don't be impatient like me and um, wait for your sticky base to dry to its full stack tackiness and wait for your little lines on your stamper. So there you have it. And doesn't that look pretty? So yes, it can be done on the stamper. So thank you Flighty Crayons for asking me to test it out after your I had time so um, I hope you guys are doing well I'm going back to work tomorrow so you won't see as many videos um, but I will definitely have my Tuesday one and my Friday one and then whatever in the meantime um, but I hope everybody had good holidays mine was it seemed long but quick so yeah back to the old grind Okay, I hope you guys are staying safe, and um, thanks for hanging out with me while I test this out, and um, yeah, love you guys, okay? And remember, be someone sparkle. Bye!